today's video, we head out to the north rim of the Grand Canyon to check out the views. We then take a do not miss scenic drive back through the Vermilion Cliffs to our campground in Kanab, Utah. Hi, so I'm Linda. And I'm Troy, and we are Wines, Pines, and Canines. Recently, we spent two weeks in beautiful Kanab, Utah, but today's video takes us to the north rim of the Grand Canyon. It was about 90 minute drive from Kanab and it took us through the Kaibab National Forest. A lot of the drive was alpine forest and open fields. It reminded us a lot of uh, Wyoming and Yellowstone. Yes, now on the way back, we took a scenic drive through Marble Canyon, the Vermilion Cliffs, and Glen Canyon. And all told, that part of the drive took us about three and a half hours. Yeah. Uh, the whole day was a little over 10 hours, including the driving and the hiking and all of that. Yes, so we're going to start off, off our day with our hike in the north rim of the Grand Canyon, which was to Bright Angel Point. Now, unfortunately, this hike was not dog friendly, so we had to do it one at a time. So he's back. How was it? Man, it was a lot of fun. Um, a well-designed trail. It's easy getting down. Pretty tough to get back because that grade is pretty steep. It's fairly narrow and in times I would say there's only five foot width to nothingness on the right or left. But there's a handrail where it's absolutely necessary and probably legally required. But other than that, it's not for the faint of heart. If you have fear of heights, it's a problem. If you don't have fear of heights, it's still pretty exhilarating. The Grand Canyon is just, it's called Grand for a reason. <laughs> okay, well, I'm excited because I am now going next so um i'm gonna his, stay here and look after little bud i'm gonna take some water along with me and um, they say this is an easy hike mm -hmm. so um let me see if i have the same experience I'm back. Um, I thought he was exaggerating, honestly, but um, actually, he wasn't. No, I don't it, think you were. It's um, really something. Yeah, it really is an easy hike in the fact that it's a quarter mile out and a quarter mile back, and then you know, basically walking from the parking lot down to the trailhead. But the path is very narrow in some points, and I could see in the summer with a lot of people, I mean, somebody's got to get all the way over to that edge. So, you know, you really have to pay attention and it's hard when you have the views that you have. On the way back, you know, there's like three spots that, you know, the grade is pretty good. So all I'm gonna say is it's not a bad hike, but hold on to your kids, help your elderly, and just really enjoy the views but don't be too distracted from them. Pay attention to where you were walking, but highly recommend. It's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, Troy, where are we headed now? I'm gonna go to the general store because I think it's time for some ice cream. 
Yes, yes. But then where are we headed? We are going to take the route back we came, and then we're going to turn, I forget the name of the town, but we're going towards the Marble Canyon and the Vermilion Cliffs. We're going to round around, we're going to come out around Page, Arizona, and make our way through southern Utah back towards Kanab. So we didn't get ice cream. We were there the last week in October and unfortunately the week before was the last week that all of the facilities inside of the North Rim were open. Yeah, and they closed the roads down completely at the end of November. So you be, be advised about that. But the good, the trade-off for that is it's a great time to visit because there's not a lot of crowds and you just really get to enjoy it at your speed. Yes, now when we left the North Rim, we were on State Road 67 and we took that for about an hour and we ended up at Jacob Lake. That's where it intersects back with Highway 89A. We take a right there and that's where we picked up our scenic drive going out towards Page, Arizona. And Jacob Lake is a great little place to stop. It's really iconic. They've got a restaurant, a gas station, and not to mention you can pick up those world famous cookies. So Troy, how's the cookie? Totally passable. Good flavor, not overly sweet. It's a little on the small side. <laughs> yeah, these are very good. Place world is crazy busy. Yeah, world famous cookies, Jacobs Lake, little Jacob. convenience store, and I had a nice restaurant as well. Yeah, a lot of business. So the drive from Jacob Lake on Highway 89A starts out with you know, large rocks and kind of a forest look. But about 15 minutes into the drive, you come around the corner and it is a completely different view. This is what brings you out into Marble Canyon and the Vermilion Cliffs. We are in the town of Cliff Dwellers. We're about 20 minutes from where we made the turn off at Jacob Lake. So glad we made the decision to do this scenic drive. This is just breathtaking here. Now the next stop for us that day was Lee's Ferry and the Glen Canyon National Recreation Area. This is a 10 out of 10. You need to see this. Now it was free with our National Parks Pass and um, they have a beach area, they have a place to put your boat in, and um, they have hikes as well. Unfortunately, because this was a super long day, um, about 10 hours in total as Troy mentioned, we didn't have time to really take advantage of that, but this is some place that you could easily spend a day or two and I believe they also have a campground there. So let's take a look.
So now we are at Glen Canyon National Recreation Area. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, driving through here with the Vermilion Cliffs and you have the Pariah River running through here. That is where Troy is right now as he walked down to the beach to get some uh, video of that. So glad we did this. Um, I'm going to be honest, I have no idea what time it is. Uh, phone says 3.20, our truck says 4.20. We keep crossing time zones. So I'm not sure how long this day has gotten so far, but I think somewhere around six to seven hours. Absolutely beautiful. So glad we did this. We probably still have another couple of hours though. So um, we will probably get to watch the sun go down from somewhere here in just a little bit. But again, if you're in this area a full day, just a beautiful way to spend it. Now, once we left Glen Canyon, we went a few miles down the road to the Navajo Bridge. Yeah, what a famous landmark for America. It goes over the Colorado River. It's about 800 feet long and it's about 500 feet high. It has a pedestrian walkway as well, and it's a great place to take in views from both sides, and it's just awe-inspiring. Yeah, it was absolutely beautiful. So this pretty much wrapped up our day. We did head back to Kanab after this and we did see that sun go down as we were making our way. Yeah, and this was only day one of a 21 day run. It was absolutely inspiring. We loved it. If you wanna see the rest of our travels as we release them, please hit that subscribe button. And remember, Desi always wants you to hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching.